This is about Germany's debts arising from the crimes committed by German troops against the Greek state and the Greek people during the German occupation between 1941 and 1944. The four different kinds of German debt are the following. First, reparations for the destruction of the country's infrastructure was awarded at the Paris Peace Conference in 1946. Second, repayment of the occupational law, which is imprescriptible in perpetuity at interest and overdue. Third, compensation of victims of crimes against humanity according to the Nuremberg trials. Fourth, repatriation of the stolen archaeological treasures. Today, Greece is suffocating with a debt of 388 billion euros, which is much smaller than Germany's debt to Greece, as will be revealed in our presentations. Germany in the Second World War, as in the First World War, tried to conquer the world. Hitler's Germany invaded Austria in March 1938. Six months later, it occupied Czechoslovakian territories and in another six months it entered Prague. At the same time, Mussolini's Italy occupied Ethiopia and Albania. In May 1939, the Steel Pact was concluded in Berlin. It is a bilateral pact for joint military action by the two Axis powers of Hitler's National Socialist Germany and Mussolini's fascist Italy. With Hitler's invasion of Poland in September 1939, the Allied powers of England and France declared war on the Axis powers. Thus, the Second World War officially began. In 1940, Germany attacked Denmark, Norway, France, Belgium, Luxembourg, Holland and England and in 1941, Yugoslavia, Greece and the Soviet Union. A year after the start of the Second World War, the Tripartite Pact was concluded, it is Japan was added to the Axis powers of Germany and Italy. After the Japanese air attack on the US fleet at Pearl Harbor in 1941, the United States declared war on Japan and next on Germany and Italy. Thus, the United States of America entered the war on the side of the Allied powers. The Second World War between 1939 and 1945 was the deadliest conflict in human history. Citizens from more than 30 countries took part with massive losses of 60 to 80 million casualties. Since 1940, the Italian dictator Mussolini maintained illegal flights of aircrafts and attacks on Greek ships. The Italian submarine Dolphin stealthily torpedoed the anchored cruiser Ellie in the port of Tinos on August 15, the day celebrating Virgin Mary. This crime created unity in Greece between the supporters and the opponents of the Metaxas dictatorship. Everyone was convinced that Italy was an implacable enemy of Greece. The morning of October 28, 1940, the Italian ambassador in Athens, Emanuele Grazzi, handed the Greek dictator Ioannis Metaxas an ultimatum, demanding the free passage of the Italian army from Albania to Greece. This was followed by the dictator's refusal with the phrase Alors c'est la guerre, then it's war, and the inclusion of Greece in the Allied forces. Given the refusal of Metaxas, Italian military forces invaded Greece. The Greek army counterattacked with the general commander of the army, King George II, and commander-in-chief Alexander Papagos. The Italian army was defeated, and by the middle of December, the Greeks had advanced through a quarter of Albania. 
And this is the first victory of the Allies against the Axis powers. Greece revived the morale of the Allies. It was then that the Prime Minister of Great Britain, Winston Churchill, said, Until now we have been saying that the Greeks fight like heroes. Now we will say that the heroes fight like Greeks. The Italians counterattack five months later, in March 1941, and the counterattack fails. Six months later, Germany comes to the rescue of the defeated Italy and to expel the British from Greece. Germans attack Greece in April 1941 as part of the Operation Marita. Metaxas Line was a chain of fortifications along the line of the Greco-Bulgarian border, covering a zone about 300 kilometers long. The Metaxas Line consisted of 21 independent fortification complexes. The Battle of the Forts took place at the Metaxas Line and it was the main struggle of the Greek army against the Germans. Sergeant Dimitri Sitsios was the commander of machine gun Nest 8 and spent the 33,000 rounds killing over 200 German soldiers before surrendering to the Germans. German General Ferdinand Schorner ordered a presentation of arms to a platoon of German soldiers in honor of Itzios, and immediately after he shot Itzios point blank in the head with a revolver. Sergeant Itzios was shot while he had already surrendered, in violation of the Geneva Treaty. This was the first war crime committed by the Germans in Greece. The German troops could not enter Greece from Bulgaria because of Metaxas Line, so they entered through Yugoslavia. They reached Athens in April 201941 and raised the swastika on the Acropolis. Crete resisted till June. Historians suggest that the victory of Greece over Italy and the Cretan resistance against the Germans influenced the outcome of the war because it delayed the attack on the Soviet Union, the Russian winter found the Germans outside the gates of Moscow, and they lost the homonymous battle. The following organizations participate in our committee. International Hellenic Association Canadian Hellenic Congress, Hellenic American National Council, the Livani Foundation.